Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can easily sharpen video footage just with a little help from AI software. Alright, so first thing you will need is a software called Sharpen AI, which is designed to sharpen and restore details in still images. Yes, there are a few other software that do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna go with Sharpen AI here because it allows me to batch edit multiple images at once. So I'm gonna be taking advantage of that in order to apply the same concept and workflow on a video. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I've actually uploaded a similar video before using Gigapixel, another software from the same developers, in which I explained how you can upscale video footage to 4K or even 8K resolution. And I've been getting a lot of positive feedback since then on that one video, so I'll leave a link to it in the description for you to check it out. So to get things started, I have this uh, footage of this little frog right here, which seems a bit soft. You can probably notice that the subject is slightly out of focus and we will see together how different it will look like at the end of this sharpening process. First, I will import this to Adobe Media Encoder. Uh, but of course, I believe you can use any other encoder or editing software to do the same thing. Once your footage is imported, go ahead and click here to change the output and choose PNG. So this way my video frames are ready to be exported to individual images. Of course you can also go here to adjust more settings if you'd like and you can even trim the duration of your clip here in case you want to exclude some parts from the beginning or end. Also make sure to enable render in maximum quality and max depth. After that I just need to pick a destination folder and start rendering. Okay, now it's time to open Sharpen AI. Make sure you get the latest version, by the way, as they are constantly releasing new performance updates and bug fixes. So first thing you will notice after launching the program is that you have the option to import image files. So let's go ahead with that and select the frames that we just exported. Once you do that, Sharpen AI will display a preview of how the sharpened image is gonna look like which is pretty impressive. As you can see, we went from this poor quality image to this sharpened version right here. And it seems to be doing a very good job so far, judging by how much details have been restored on the subject as well as the uh, surroundings. Now let's go ahead and play around with the settings a little bit. First thing you will notice here is that you can pick from three different modules. First one is sharpen. You can pick this if you simply want to correct small amounts of general softness without any artifacts or halos. Second one is uh, Stabilize. This module is used to reverse motion blur caused by shake and basically makes handheld images look like they were taken from a tripod. And the last module is Focus which works better for sharpening out of focus eyes or correcting issues caused by incorrect in-camera focus. Now with my footage in particular, I'm gonna go with uh, Focus. I have tried both that and Sharpen and I could tell that Focus is working a lot better for me in this scenario. You can of course play around with the remaining settings but in my case, I'm happy with the current result so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Start Batch Processing. Now let's change the file name to Custom and get rid of this suffix here. At this point, all that's left to do is pick a destination folder and hit save. Now we will leave Sharpen AI to do its magic. As you can see, new Sharpen images are being exported to the folder that I selected. Now to be completely honest with you guys, the only downside I had so far with this process is that it takes so long and it is a bit heavy on resources, but I'm hoping to see improvements on speed in the upcoming updates from the developers at Topaz Labs. I also wanna mention that this video is not sponsored in any way however after the last video i made i reached out to the guys at topaz labs and they were kind enough to provide us with a special promo code that you can use on your next purchase so i'll put the code in the description below and feel free to grab it now back to the tutorial once the process is over and all images have been sharpened we can go back to adobe media encoder and import these images 
Simply select the first image and make sure to enable PNG sequence. Now let's click here and pick a video codec. So this way we can export this to an actual video file. Click here again to pull up the export settings. And again, let's enable render at maximum depth and use maximum quality render. The rest looks fine to me. And now you can just browse and pick a destination folder and then hit the render button. Unlike the sharpening process, this part should be fairly quick. And here it is, the final result compared to the original footage. Big difference. I'm personally very impressed by it. Yes, it does take time to process, but believe me, it's totally worth it when it comes to a bad footage that you really don't want to waste. And I know for a fact, both software and hardware are getting faster every day. So who knows, you might find this handy someday. In any case, you can be the judge. Let me know in the comments what you think about both the final result and the method in general. I really hope you find it helpful. Give this video a like if you do and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one as I'll be doing a lot more about this kind of topic in the future. See you guys in the next video.